Hi, it's Heather here and Lydia, your helpful teacher friends today with an engineering activity to turn your classroom into a colorful orchestra if you're successful. So Heather, tell us, how do we go about doing this? Well, these are some of the materials that you might use to do this activity. All right, now as part of this activity, we're wanting you to use recycled materials to make any kind of instruments with the students in your class. We've got a few examples here of things that we've quickly made that you might like to make too. We've got things like straw pan pipes, made of plastic. We've got balloon drums with cups. And rubber bands up at the You top. want to play yours? It's also cool to play like this. A bit of a rain stick shaker thing going on here with some rice inside. And this with some ice cream sticks, rubber bands and straws. Ah! You make a little harmonica. And don't forget about your beautiful coloured glass xylophone. xylophone. Exactly. Exactly. So students will be able to play and, um, with different materials to create different pitches, to create different volumes and hopefully create a kind of rhythm that you can enjoy as a class together. Shall we give it a go? Well, just before we do that, we want to talk about why why we're using this as an engineering activity. True. So with the uh, designing of musical instruments, we want to have three things that each musical instrument has. So we want to have part of the instrument that can vibrate, something with vibrations. So let's use this shoebox guitar so we can talk about the, the design features in musical instruments. So we need a part of our instrument that makes vibrations. So here, we've got the rubber bands. Ooh, mine sound a lot better. Yours sounds a lot better, yes. It that's does. because the second part of musical instruments is something that's gonna make the sound louder. And so I've got this whole box here, so you can hear those. And for this, you may use tissue boxes that already have holes in them. That will save you some time. And the third thing we want for our musical instruments is a way of changing the sound that we're hearing, the pitch or the note that the instrument makes. In this case, I've used some different types of rubber bands here. Right. Or here, Lydia put different amounts of water in her xylophone. We had different lengths of straws on those. We had different sized cups here. That's oh, right, even for this harmonica, we're able to change the, the pitch by moving the straw bit up and down. So we can quickly make a, a tissue box guitar. Okay. You can put some elastic bands on that. So elastic bands of different Yeah, let's, we'll use different ones. I'll put mine down again. Have a fat one. I don't think the colour influences the sound. Okay. And then we'll show you our little tip. Yeah, so if you play it like this, that's not great. If we stick an icy pole stick in there, or some pencils, we get those rubber bands up off the surface. Okay. Did you want to try strumming it now? I would love to. Not sure. Just promise. I'm not sure it's going to be a hit. So when we've got all of our instruments made, we've used whatever materials we can find, we've got all those different sounds, we can put it all together. Now the two of us can't really simulate the actual we sound try. We will try. <laughs> of 30 children with instruments in your classroom. Doesn't stop me from trying. Alright, okay. let's give it a shot. Okay. much. Hope that was more entertaining than a class full of recording uh, children playing recorders. 